Okay, you have installed the Embarcadero Dev C++ program to develop your C or C++ applications or programs for yourself. And you want to make a graphic-based program or you want to use graphics in your program. Well, you write the code and start it and you will encounter a problem in this case. The problem is Embarcadero DC++ is not coming with the graphics drivers. So you require to install graphics header files to Embarcadero DC++ then make some little change in your compiler and then you can use the graphic. In this video I will show you how to do this. First of all I will give you the link below to download the graphics header files. You can reach this graphic header files. Now, after that, downloading the graphics header files, you will see files in this. So, what is it? Now, let's see. Graphics.h and winpgim.h. These two files will be copied to the devc tdm gcc64 go to the include folder and copy this h files which means header files to this folder after that you will copy the other file which ends with point a libbgi point a to lib folder which is the library folder now make change in your compiler and see the result but now we have another situation here let me explain sometimes not always but sometimes you encounter a problem about the stream point h file so sometimes in some cases you need to install this one to the include folder too so I copied it to the include folder and now let's go to the second. In this step you will open the Embarcadero DC++ program and select tools and compiler options. Now you will add these parameters to the compiler. Well in this case I selected the 64-bit release but you can also add this to 32-bit release too. Now you can see these compiler parameters will bring you the graphics ability for your programs. Now we are ready. Let's try some code. Now let's try the graphics in DevC++ and see what will happen. As you can see, here is a simple code which will draw a sine wave to the screen. In previous versions of C++, you will see a BGI folder in your coding environment. But in this case, in DevC++, you do not require something like this. So the init graph is absolute in this case. But how will we draw the graphics uh, to the screen? Well, you have to init window by writing this simple code. You can change the size of the window by changing these values and you can change the caption of this window by writing uh, something what you want in this area so let's keep it simple and execute the code compile and run as you can see system opens a console window and also a windows window and the graphics will be in this area okay that's all